speak about the space or some place emptiness. There is no pinpoint of space which is empty. There is some spirit, there is some matter. Spirit, even in vast emptiness, there is a spirit of consciousness. An all-pervading consciousness all over the universe. that Supreme I, through Big Bang, became consciousness. From the bed of consciousness, a tremendous energy came out with the sound. In the beginning there was a word, what was law. And it was so tremendous sound, bursting volcanic eruptions, that the light, heat was produced, light came, existence came in innumerable form. So God is omnipresent, all-pervading the entire many, many universes. He is omnipresent in every individual existence as vibrations, protons, electrons, neutrons. He is omnipresent as a pattern of sounds, waves, light waves, magnetic field of attracting each other. He is omnipotent as all kind of energy. If you take the flower vase, the plant out of it and cut that roots in different plant and put it in the earth by that energy creation is going on. He is there. He is there in the juice which is carrying from the earth to form so many fruits. He is in the flower, fruits. He is in the sunbeams, so many lights, so many stars. If you meditate Him, you will see Him everywhere as supreme cause of creation, as supreme cause of protection, automatically protection. If any flies is coming towards your eyes, if unconsciously you will close the eyes. Protection. Protective hours in you is there, in you. He is omniscient with all causes. Why, why, how, where, where, when, when, when every answers. As all truth and combination of these truth and causes is the world of wisdom. He revealed Himself as everything, holding all in one as Himself and he is still 
only present it every day. And so he is so clear to you, so much one with you. But when the water of that universal ocean, God, enter into every bubbles, the bubbles because of that wind, a individual self, a little self, the ego, the selfishness, limitation, cover up the consciousness that the bubble belongs to that ocean and the water of that ocean, consciousness and energy, is latent in that bubble. When these bubbles forget their reality, they fight each other. They are broken, they are shapes, their nature. And they become that water, but they forget that this is their reality. By the process of evolution, for this globe, human being is the supreme soul. For other globes, maybe other form of life. Conscious about science of creation, conscious about how the computer life works, consciousness about everything of the life, within the life, around the life, so that one will never suffer from any kind of bondages, any kind of conflicts. But if any conflict comes from the blind environment, he is capable to overcome adjust. That is why these all pervading magnetic field to feel all as one is called love, divine. Sex Emotions, service are the stream of a kind of emotions to carry to the consciousness of love. And if one cannot reach to that consciousness, one is confined by that process, by that vehicle. One is confined in the vehicle and moving on the road but could not reach the destination, the love. Same, there are so many truths, so many laws of nature, so many laws of karma. If you do this, you will get this result. If you do that, you will get that result. A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus B square plus 2A. Minus B is this. These are the cause of laws of nature. And God exists as also laws of cause and effect, laws of nature. The rotation, as you are rotating in your life, day to day life. So the meter, every Every existence has got its own meter within oneself and there is supreme meter. Everybody's meter is combined there. And according to the meter of their actions, they get back the next effect of their life. So, what should be the laws of nature? What should be the laws of life? What should be the principles of life? What should be the principle of growth in life? What should be the principles of 
leading along with others in environments according to the different condition of the universe and earth as everything is developing what should be the condition of living with so many relations individual life conjugal life social life political life economic life in many other in any any kind many aspects of life what should be the ideal life and what is the conception of love conception of truth conception of what is called the world of wisdom beyond the mind what is the conception of love beyond the self what is the conception of supreme union beyond the sex to awaken the humanity sometimes the spirit of angels who always move around the spirit of god comes in human form as prophet or as sadguru or a messenger or innumerable monks and saints to help in others and degree of this one's awakening in their own self degree of enlightenment is different to different souls who visit the earth with the messages of god as necessary so he delivers and the human being receives enjoys their life enjoys their real life this mortal life and the life within with god with spirit with love with wisdom and enjoy the heaven the kingdom of heaven within in the lifetime not after the death nobody enjoys anything after the death but according to one's some total karma the soul along with the desires around it like a balloon takes the different directions there are many directions and again they suffer hell or they enjoy heaven according to their enlightenment according to their karma according to their services according to their relation with their supreme father and his creations in the kingdom of god where there is only conception of oneness and truth of every awareness there is no hatred who will hate whom god can hate anybody because he knows the cause is why he became she became prostitute she became a murderer why he is speaking lie because to hide himself and every vibrations atoms life existence from matter plants animals man or a superman god finds himself all are he in different conditions nature characteristics instincts so he has got no hatred for anything but he has got a respect 
respect, he is very respectful to one thing by which he is caught. Guru, God, prophets, or a chaste woman or man can never be caught by the allurement of wealth, name, fame, sex, beauty, illusions, or any kind of temptations, they will never be caught. They always free soul. Because of their devotion to Guru or God, their untottering faith in their mediator, because of their complete surrender of self and carry the Self of the Father, they become very powerful temple, powerful container to hold the Spirit of God. Why devils can't ever enter, evil can play he will try to play games but can't torture. Rather evil should be burned to ashes. And such souls are very respectful to God. That is why in the saints of Lord Krishna, it is told, God does not remain in sky or in clay, in picture, or in any temple, church, mosque. God exists where there is a devotion, dedication, completion of oneness. God is omnipotent with a full-fledged form. Otherwise, out of the infinite forms, partly He is there, here, there. He is so partly. Light is so less, it is as good as darkness. But still there is a light even in darkness. And one who can see, perceive, Science is coming to a stage for the evolutions when human being will realize that evolution how far they can evolve, what is the state of the highest evolution as a human being on this globe? He should be a normal. He should be a balanced man under every condition. If he is abused, misused, if he is praised or condemned, Nothing affects him because he identifies himself as something else. Not one points his finger to him. So nothing affects him. No insult. Ego does not work there because ego has been melted. as love. Love has been melted as truth. Truth has been melted as supreme awareness. And supreme awareness is his own being. 
which is everlasting consciousness, pure peace, and oneness with the Father. And he always remains in that state, whether he goes to bed with his wife or he goes for fighting with the ill. He always conscious about his reality. So for the human souls, those messengers or others who come with the new messages for that age, they come as the incarnation of love, devotion, as the incarnation of all truth and wisdom. And anyone who follows with faith and reorient their life and try to fill their enlightenment day by day, they become blessed. And blessed are those who have full consciousness about the science of creation, the science of truth, the science of all philosophy of life and growth, and who follow the principles of the life and growth along with the other environments as they are part and parcel of their life. And best environment is the oxygen, without which one cannot exist. Light, water, his own sensory organs, his own mind, his own emotions, his own heart, feelings, these are all immediate environment. And the best friend is the Spirit, Holy Spirit of God, where evil cannot work on the ego, emotions, selfishness, limitations, and one feels expanded. Next environment is wife, husband, children, mother, father, friends, even the flowers of the garden, every atoms, every things that one uses, likes to keep it perfect in order. If the car is not in order, that will give trouble to you. Anything that you use, your stoves, your frying pan or your shoe, hat, paint, anything that belongs to you must be kept in order and that is your life. Your life means to attain to grow in right, with the right ideals, with the right spirit, keeping your body, mind, soul ever clean so that you can receive the right reflection of God first, your master, you follow. And right reflection of others, because different reflection is coming from different impetus, different attitudes, different catching, pushing, pulling, going on around you. And some total of these impulses of the art and some total of their karmic effects, partly you are sharing. So to change your environment through love, service, compassion, not through violent judge, or finding fault always, but through compassion is the main function of your life. And as many as you can help changing others, as
as many as you can help others to change their life towards the right evolution, elevation, quick elevation, overnight change. So much you come close to the Spirit of God. So religion means to follow the principles of life and growth, changing yourself towards the betterment of life and supreme awareness, and helping other, your environments, to evolve accordingly. And that religion has got no name. It is common religion for all mankind, maybe through any faith. As many men, so many may be the faith, but religion is one. The technique for self-adjustment, self-introspection, self-coordination with the environment, and the universal growth, both materially and spiritually, along with your environment, is the common principles of all religions. God is one, all messengers, prophets carry the same Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is one, and religion is also one. A true follower of a right religion will respect every faith as one respects every kind of food. Some people like bread, some rice, some likes this, some likes this, which, of course, liking is not out of greediness or pride or fascination, but liking for the good health. So for the good spiritual health, there may be different faith, but one who is faithful to his own faith will respect other faiths. One who can respect his mother will respect other mothers. One who respects his own nation, own country, must respect other nations and other countries. And to respect means to inspect their needs and necessities and to serve accordingly so that they will be enjoying the rights, their rights, and their comforts in their own way. And to inspire other nations to grow, whether third nation or fourth nation or second nation or first nation, these are all first, second, third, they say, according to the economic conditions, their food, their standard of living. But One nation may be developed scientifically, materially, economically, may be very, very, very rich, affluent societies, but terrible disorder in their character, in their relationships. They are dying. They can't sleep. They no rest. So that may be worst nation. So one nation may be spiritually very loyal to each other, good to each other, nice family, nice things, but there is no sufficient food and clothing and shelter. They are also imbalanced. So, for the completion of perfect life, for the 
perfect symbol of a right nation, the human being must grow both materially and spiritually, and that is the latest message to the world. All the cures for all the societies, all the nations and human beings have come because in the beginning the foundation of the creation of human souls are wrong. Marriage has gone wrong. Somebody's wife has gone to somebody's. Somebody's husband has gone to somebody. If marriage has gone wrong, no purity of love, purity of unity, purity of understanding, the children are born like animals out of emotion, temptation, ego, conflict, fight. And those children, after growing up, disordered, no coordination of conscience and the action, no coordination of mind and action, no coordination of conscience, mind, word and action, no coordination with self, environment and ideal, there is no coordination with this nation and that nation, and the only thing is one is trying to possess others' ideals, conflict of ideals, conflict of culture, conflict of faith, conflict of individuality, conflict of misunderstanding, conflict of religion, all are chaos. Because one chaos started, the marriage gone wrong. So for the latest condition of the earth when the world will change in 200 and 2001, new generation, everything will change. It is changing in the eternal, infinite space, so many stars and conditions of the existence. The lights are coming, nice thoughts are coming, nice inspirations are coming. That is why many young souls are restless to get the right truth, right ideals, right things, not only TM, a temporary meditation, not only just being temporary emotion with some kirtanam or dancing, not only just going to a temple or church, do some temporary service and listening some gospels, but it's a complete evolution, revolutions within the entire being, and that is very soon coming. When all the nations, not like a artificial united nations under one umbrella, but all the nations will realize that the war is not the solution. Cultivation, commerce, right industry without strike, and everyone's right for their own comfortable existence, and solution will come for the capitalism, communism. Solution will come for the imperialism, or any other isms, by one ism, loveism, we have to love each other. We are the all children of one God. All the nations combinedly will form the world government. World government, world religion, world love, and then every nation will help their environment, sister nations. They will throw the weapons, they will throw the hatred, they will throw the misunderstanding, their ignorances, they will throw all that are torturing their life, either they are at home or in society, all chaos because, is a chaos because there is no center of love, there is no ideal, there is no right direction of religion, 
spiritualism or politics or economics. There is no right directions. All are trying to grab each other. All are trying to live just if I am comfortable, all right. No, there is still inside the heart there is a cry. There is a loneliness in the mind. Even the prince and princess or the king with all the wealth and kingdom is still deserted because nothing is balanced. So every life should be balanced, both materially and spiritually. Every nation should be balanced. Every culture should be respected. And cultivation of this right culture in life, cultivation of right truth and spirit in life, cultivation of right Holy Spirit, love, wisdom, and right education, which will be practical to their life how to behave with others, how to make the garden, how to clean the room, how to help each other, how to do every practical suggestion necessary for life will be taught in school, college, universities. The roads and all the bars and all the shops and everywhere there will be mottos, inspirations, each and every one, the time has come, we have to come up, we have to change the society. And that day is coming very soon, for which such a dedicating souls are necessary, who will fully understand what is man-making mission, what is universal truth, what is universal religion, what is universal faith, what is the life ideal, life what is the ideal family life, everything should be ideal and happiness will come in life. With all wealth, all food, clothing, shelter, there will be no money, money. All will be coming. When a child was born, he was giving milk. Naturally it came from the breast of the mother with all oxygen, all light and everything. There is no wants, there is no worries, there is no hatred, no fear. We have created it. We have to throw it and create the courage to create within us the strength by which we can bring plenty of food and clothing, plenty of ammunition amenities of enjoyments of life, both material and spiritual. And we love each other, serve each other, feel for each other, throwing all the limitations, throwing this hatred, fear, jealousy, speaking against each other. We make ourselves dirty. Let us clean ourselves by touching the Spirit of the Father, let us receive Him within us, awaken Him within us, and hold our hand, each other, to enjoy His blessings and be ever peaceful, blissful, and let the world change by the touch of you all. And for which I appeal you all, pray you all, transform your life and carry the Spirit the God has sent for you and remain ever blessed. Amen.